they are black men. I yeah. love you. You can't say you love black men and then you want black men to shut up. Get ready. Get ready. It's the Grown Man Hour with your host, my man, Bernard Riley. Riley. What's up, good people? Bernard Riley back in here with another one. And yes, you saw it right from the title. Kevin Samuels did clap back at Nicki Minaj indirectly. Indirectly, which is interesting because the way that she clapped at him was kind of indirectly as well we about to we're about to get into what happened a little bit of the backstory where is Nicki minaj did an interview with kevin samuels where you know the internet was basically set on fire where she said some things where it sounded like she was talking to kevin samuels but she said i'm not talking to you kevin i'm talking to other people then in a more recent interview with joe button she doubled down even harder but did the same thing. She sets Kevin Samuels aside, said, I'm not talking about him, but then she accurately described exactly what it is that Kevin Samuels does for a living. Kevin rated me a nine, but guess what? That seven and a half or that nine, and this is not about Kevin, because he actually was very respectful on the show when I spoke to him. All you niggas that do that, y'all can take those ratings and shove it up your fucking assholes. Shove it good and, and, and hard and deep in your ass. Well, Kevin Samuels essentially did the same thing. He did a live stream on Instagram. He went on Instagram Live and he started de facto responding to Nicki Minaj while affirming that he's not talking about Nicki Minaj. Okay, okay let's be clear. This smoke show is not about Nicki Minaj. I have my schedule to do. I've heard about what she, I've heard about her video that she sat down with brother Joe Budden. Um, but I need you guys to understand that I don't make my content in reaction to a, a lot of stuff that you guys watch. I got a content strategy. I got stuff I'm talking about. And- They are black men. I yeah. love you. You can't say you love black men and then you want black men to shut up that they can comment on women's bodies and, and keep saying what we like and what, and what they don't like. Who you, who, who are you? Say about you. Cause that seems to be a, a frame of mind. It's like, who the hell are y'all to be talking about this? Who are you? Why are y'all doing this? Are y'all that fragile to where y'all can't, y'all can't take anything? Oh, I get it. You only want us to do what you want us to do. You want us to do what you want us to do. I asked a question earlier. When women say, I love black men, but then you turn around and you roast black men and tear them apart for actually speaking their minds. Hello. Like, I don't ever want a man to come back on this fucking internet and talk about some fucking lace from the fuck y'all think y'all talking to. Ladies, the hair conversation, often you hear women say, keep your mouth off our hair, bullshit. If it's on your body, we're going to talk about it because you belong to me. The kids belong to you. I belong to God. We report up. There is nothing that is on or around a woman that is not a man's business. If you got a problem with that, deal with your creator. Don't make it black men's problem because we got the nerve to say something about the women that share our reflections. And to the men that get on and, and laugh about black women because you mad because some black girl broke your fucking ugly ass heart like the podcast uh, clown. The, uh, the podcast clown. I wish the fuck you would have tried that with me, bitch. I wish the fuck you would. Shut up. Shut up. I don't like that you say this. Let Stop saying things. Let women say whatever they want to, however they want to, and you just be a good boy. This is the one problem. That's the real problem, especially in our community. 
Black men, we are supposed to be second class citizens. We're supposed to listen to mama, auntie, cousin, nene. We're supposed to do what they tell us to do. We're supposed to shut up and fall in line. Sorry. The kind of men that are going to be required to build the black community are the kind of men you're going to have to learn how to contend with. And if you can't contend with a man, then get with your girlfriend or get with the beta dudes, get with the little baby boys you raised, and move on. Hey, no heat, no judgment. It's not, it, this is not embarrassed black woman season. That's not what this is. What the fuck y'all think y'all talking to or about? Eat a dick. Eat a dick. Anyway, so Joe... Um, I'm, I'm... <laughs> nothing remotely feminine and this is why you start to see so many women who are trying to overcome their lack of femininity with feminine adornments look at how many masculine women wear long weaves long braids long fingernails walk around with face beat like glamour shots they are trying to put on the face of femininity and I have a little theory Look at the average modern woman's level of glamour and then deduct from her level of femininity. If she's higher up in glamour, the chances are she's much lower in femininity because truly feminine women tend to be more natural. They don't have to try to look like a woman. I want you to think of how many times you see women with these long weaves and long this and long that, and it's just excessive. I'm not saying extensions. I'm not saying, you know, moderation. I'm talking about excessive. And then quick to snap, quick to go. It's like, eat a dick. Eat a dick. And then quick to snap, quick to go. It's like, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, ladies, don't get mad that men are waking up. Oh, really? That's what the real issue is. My platform and platforms like mine are places where men can come and talk. And men are speaking up, and they're mad because so many men are not waking up. So many women are discovering that the men to the right and to the left of them, they've been woke all along. They just didn't know that what the men were thinking. Now they know what men are thinking. That's why women are so mad. Like, well, well why, do, why do men do X, Y, and Z? Why do men rank women? Men have, men have been ranking women before I came around. The movie 10 with Bo Derek, men, men instinctively rank things. We rank ourselves. And women, you don't want any criticism. You want us, we're going to rank you. Like, you shouldn't tell women what you think their rating is. We're going to rank you, and any man that sits around and says, you shouldn't be doing that, that motherfucker's a panda bear. He's pandering to you. Women, you got men pandering to you. Yeah, they shouldn't be ranking ladies, and they shouldn't, they shouldn't be doing that. A lot of these men tend to be some of the most toxic, egregious motherfuckers themselves. I'm sitting there looking at these men talking, telling these women, yeah, they should be ranking. Y'all cheating on women, beating women's ass like hotcakes. Got babies everywhere. Have horrible track record women talking about what men should and should not be doing. Y'all want to measure track records? Now, he didn't spend the whole show talking to Nicki Minaj or about Nicki Minaj indirectly. He was taking in callers, but in between every caller or every other caller, he will gradually float something in that was an indirect response to Nicki Minaj. And he did affirm twice. He made sure he said it twice because the audience began to notice that this sounds like you're talking to Nicki Minaj. And he said, this isn't about Nicki Minaj. Turn it back on. No, this is not about Nicki Minaj. This is, they don't, okay, let's be clear. This smoke show is not about Nicki Minaj. I have my schedule to do. I've heard about what she, I've heard about her video. She sat down with Brother Joe Budden. Oh. So um, now it's in a place where they have a very weird thing going on here where she says that I'm not talking about him, but then she says things to where, well, who else is she talking about? He's not talking about her, but then he says some things. Well, who else is he talking about? But they both repeatedly say, 
I'm not talking about you. Which furthermore begs the question that is it time for the two of them to actually get together and have a real conversation, not being indirect, not the subliminal sneak disses that a lot of people said that Nicki Minaj was doing in her actual discussion with him, not the indirect, not talking to Kevin, but talking about what Kevin does type of thing. And Kevin Samuels not responding to exactly what Nicki Minaj <laughs> does or what Nick, Nicki Minaj is or what Nicki Minaj says, but actually talking to her. Yeah, I mean, I, I was, I was pretty much done with it and willing to put it all to rest, but it's, it looks like another conversation is actually brewing up. Kevin Samuels did do his uh, de facto response to Nicki Minaj indirectly, of course, because like he said, no, this is not about Nicki Minaj. And like she said, nine, and this is not about Kevin because he actually was very respectful on the show. I think it's time for a a, a grueling knockdown drag out one on one. They just they just, they just need to they just need to get it in and get it on. But that's where I'm at with it. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what you think about Kevin Samuels' indirect response where he was talking about Nicki Minaj. But as he said, no, this is not about Nicki Minaj. Let me know what you think in the comment section about that. Um, there's a lot to be said about that, and uh. <laughs> It's a lot of people who will go in on the live stream. I'm keeping it clean, keeping it clean right here on the pre-record. Just throwing the information out there. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'm out of here. Peace.